Okay, everybody, now it's time to actually get into the reading of the story. And then this is pretty much how it goes. Uh, I say the title of the story, and then I read the story. Uh, but there's a lot more to it than that, so uh, I'll step you through it. Here we go. Samson, mighty warrior. He will begin to rescue the people of Israel from the power of the Philistines. Judges 13.5 Part 1 when the Israelites began disobeying Yah, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, he was not pleased. Why couldn't they simply obey his instructions and inst why couldn't they simply obey his instructions instead of worship? <laughs> I have a gnat in my studio. Uh, hopefully it won't be a plague of any sort, just one, but a very pesky one at that. Why couldn't they simply obey his instructions? Why couldn't they simply obey his instructions instead of worshiping false gods? He decided to punish the Is He decided to punish the Israelites by sending the fearsome Philistines to oppress them. The Israelites didn't like the Philistines. They were wicked and cruel, and they liked a good fight. They often attacked the Is They often attacked the Israelite villages and stole the people's possessions. They made everyone's lives miserable. But the father still loved the people of Israel, and he had a plan to save them. That plan included a boy named Samson. He would grow up to be a mighty warrior. He would grow up to be a mighty warrior who would help save the Israelites from the Philistines. I better do that last line again. But the father still loved the people of Israel, and he had a plan to save them. That plan included a boy named Samson. He would grow up to be a mighty warrior. I still like the mighty warrior. But the father still loved the people of Israel, and he had a plan to save them. That plan... Still picking out hair from the... <laughs> the character props. Woo! Okay. But, <laughs> didn't know it would be shedding. I don't have that problem with the, uh, the natural. Okay. But the father, but the father still loved the people, but the father still loved the people of Israel, and he had a plan to save them. That plan included a boy named Samson. He would grow up to be a mighty warrior who would help save the Israelites from the Philistines. One day, an Israelite woman was busy in the fields when Yah sent an angel to see her. Listen, said the angel. Listen, said the angel. Do not drink any wine or eat anything unclean. Soon you will have a baby boy. He will be a Nazarite, a person set apart to serve Yah. Do not cut his hair. The woman could hardly believe her ears. She hurried to see her husband, whose name was Manoah. A, stra a stranger came to me, she said. His face was fearsome like an angel. He said that we will soon have a child. He said that we will soon have a child. Send the angel to teach us how to raise this child, said Manoah. And Yah did so. When the angel had finished speaking, Manoah fetched a goat and sacrificed it on a stone altar. Flames from the altar rose high in the air. Suddenly the angel shot up into the fire and disappeared. This was no ordinary angel. Manoah and his wife fell to the ground full of fear. We will surely die because we have seen God, they said. Samson, mighty warrior. No razor shall come upon his head, for the child shall be a Nazarite to God from the womb, and he shall begin to save Israel from the power of the Philistines. Judges 13.5 Part 1 
When the Israelites began disobeying Yah, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, he was not pleased. Why couldn't they simply obey his instructions instead of worshiping false gods? He decided to punish the Israelites by sending the fearsome Philistines to oppress them. The Israelites didn't like the Philistines. They were wicked and cruel, and they liked a good fight. They often attacked the Israelite villages and stole the people's possessions. They made everyone's lives miserable. But the father still loved the people of Israel, and he had a plan to save them. That plan included a boy named Samson. He would grow up to be a mighty warrior who would help save the Israelites from the Philistines. One day, an Israelite woman was busy in the fields when Yah sent an angel to see her. Listen, said the angel. Do not drink any wine or eat anything unclean. Soon you will have a baby boy. He will be a Nazarite, a person set apart to serve Yah. Do not cut his hair. The woman could hardly believe her ears. She hurried to see her husband, whose name was Manoah. A stranger came to me, she said. His face was fearsome like an angel. He said that we will soon have a child. Send the angel to teach us how to raise this child, said Manoah. And Yah did so. When the angel had finished speaking, Manoah fetched a goat and sacrificed it on a stone altar. Flames from the altar rose high in the air. Suddenly, the angel shot up into the fire and disappeared. This was no ordinary angel. Manoah and his wife fell to the ground full of fear. We will surely die because we have seen God, they said. 